What up, family? Get a news point of Mary Dash to the Mary Lady. Today is June 29th, 2021. So they say in my city, Chicago. You know, I got some things I have to say. You know, I got this Sony uh, radio right here. And I was doing a little math. You understand what I'm saying? With the letters Sony. S O N Y. And if you add it up, the letters. It come to 73. But if you spell Sony S O N W H Y, it comes up to well, I'm not and and wait a minute, let's do it like this. If you spell if you take the I did it earlier, so you have to excuse me. Let's start over. As you get a news reporter, Mary and Dad's 20 Mary Lee. Today is June, Tricky Tuesday in my city, Chicago. The 29th, 2021. Earlier today, you know, I was trying to figure out when letters and numbers became algebra and math problems. You understand what I'm saying? You know, back in the day, it used to be real simple. Ten commandments. You understand what I'm saying? Now it's the 40 laws of, you know, Mahat. You understand what I'm saying? You know, it just, it gets weirder and weirder. But, you know, in AA, Alcoholics Anonymous, they always said, keep it simple, stupid. You know, with a kiss or whatever and stuff. You know, I don't really prefer stupid, maybe students, you know, keep it simple, stupid. I mean, students, you understand what I'm saying? Prefer to stupid, you know, but stupid, you know, make you think more of why they say stupid and not students because you know people think i'm stupid you know they always thought i was a sucker for a pretty face you know but uh you know I, i'm always thinking so i have this sony clock right here you understand what i'm saying and you know michael jackson was hooked up with sony and you know they claim michael died and you know uh sony got all his uh, publishing or whatever and stuff, the Beatles, the Beatles catalog back and all that, you know, see, it's bigger than the gay agenda, okay? Now, if you add up the numbers in Sony, the letters, I mean, S-O-N-Y, you get 73. At the age of six, in 1973, I, Mary Lee, your ghetto news reporter and originator of rap, was placed in the Chicago Sun-Times newspaper for being a child abuse victim and standing up for myself and against other child abuse victims as well. I didn't know I was going to be an advocate, you know, against, you know, child abuse victims and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Not for child abuse victims. You understand? For me, you know, you know, you for it. I'm not for them getting abused and me either. Now, if you... You know, in the alphabet, you know, when they teach you grammar, they say A-E-I-O-U and sometimes Y. You understand what I'm saying? Now, if you change the Y, the letter Y, and add on S-O-N-W-H-Y, and then just add up the W H Y from the word Sony, the Y equals up to 56. And if you add the 56 and the 73, you get 129. That's Oprah Winfrey's birthday. Now, back in the day, I was trying to learn how to, you know, go to school and do math and stuff when I was a teenager. You understand what I'm saying? Because I was deprived of it education along with being a child abuse victim and also being the originator of rap now people might be like well if you was you know not educated you know how did you become the originator of rap you have to be somewhat you know smart i mean well a gift is from god and a surprise will kill you right i didn't realize that if i added up them numbers it would come up to oprah winfrey's birthday in the year that i was in the chicago sun times newspaper the way i you know, did it. You understand what I'm saying? Um, 
But not only that, I, I thought if you go to school, they would teach you how to, you know, do math and things of that nature or whatever. But when I tried to go to Olive Harvey College for my GED back in the day as a teenager, my own teacher wouldn't even teach me anything. You understand what I'm saying? As far as math, my youngest niece, Dion Nelson, taught me math. And I was so proud to get 100 that I sent my uh, math homework for, you know, 100 to Oprah Winfrey in 1984, along with my child abuse rap. You understand what I'm saying? Because I had nobody else that I thought, you know, cared and, and, and I looked at a lot of TV growing up and listened to a lot of music and I was proud of myself. You know, she sent me a copy of her, you know, letter, you know, with her copy signature or whatever and stuff talking about, you know, I'm not able to use your work right now, but if I do in the future, I'll get back to you. Well, she's used it up. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, she basically... I, I basically was the inspiration for her movie, The Color Purple, and, you know, her sitcom, Green Leaf, because, you know, I was in Alcoholics Anonymous, and um, my AA meeting in Rogers Park in my city, Chicago, was on Clark and Green Leaf, and God knows I ain't lying, because, you know, if you look outside my window, ain't nothing but... Ain't nothing but green leaves in front of my window. You understand what I'm saying? Let me see if I can put the light on this so y'all can see it for yourself. I know you've seen it before. You understand what I'm saying? But I want you to see why God, you know, loves me and wants me to make it by any means necessary. You understand what I'm saying? With or without Oprah Winfrey's help. You see all that green leaves right there? You understand what I'm saying? This the window. The whole window is almost covered. Now, tomorrow, they got a thing called inspection. I'm with a program called Feather Fist. You understand what I'm saying? And this window has been cracked for over four months, and I have been dropping slips for them to fix it. And they think they're coming in my room to inspect my room without... Um, you know, fixing this window. Now, they claim they made an attempt on my birthday, 525, early in the morning at about, uh, it was about 8 o'clock in the morning, and I had stuff all over the place, and it was my birthday. I didn't get nothing from my birthday, not even a happy birthday from um, the man management or whatever here. Now, they did give me a happy birthday you know, after my birthday, I think I was probably, you know, paying my rent or something on another day or whatever. I think it was June or something. You understand what I'm saying? For real. Way after my birthday, you know. Um, yeah. So they're not coming up in here. You understand what I'm saying? Tomorrow. Unless they got a, 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 I can't even say a warrant. You understand what I'm saying? They're not coming in here because I've been through a whole lot since I've been in this um, trap building, 6210 South Kenbark Avenue, Chicago, North 60637. I've been basically railroaded. You understand what I'm saying? And left for dead, and they thought I'd be dead, but because I won't lay down and die, you know, there's a lot of uh, people trolling me just going to the store. Now, everybody knows who I am, but I'm not getting monetized for all of the videos I've done, all the accomplishments I have uh, put on Facebook and YouTube as far as the ideas, you know, gym shoe colorings and stuff rainbow colors and you know a lot of good ideas that they used up you know this one guy he, he does a lot of um videos his name is dane calloway i don't um mind you know pumping people up because that's all they want me to do say their name but they won't say mine but um i don't care you know i'll say it myself merely merely you understand what i'm saying you know, uh, yeah, he does a lot of videos and stuff. And at the end, he said, I'm just here to make you think. See, they they talk about me, around me. You understand what I'm saying? You know, kind of like throwing out shots and similar symbolic, you know, little cold words and stuff to let people know I'm just here to make them think. Because if it wasn't true, I would have been, been got paid off my um, accomplishments and my ideas. 
Now, everything I come up with, they they still, I remember I had took the lens out of my glasses and I went, you know, to get on the train and somebody, because they watched me also, somebody was at the train station with their lens about their glasses. Now, that's not a hot commodity unless it's an original and then and people are watching. So I never get credit for what I do. You understand what I'm saying? But they want to come look around, sneak and see what uh, it is that, you know, they can, you know, steal and use to get the bag and keep the bag or whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? You know, um, the girls are the ones that really disappoint me the most because even in prison, the guys stick together when they don't get their mail or something, right? You understand what I'm saying? But the girls and who I fought so hard for, for real, for real, are the main ones sending the guys to try to kill me, beat me up, fuck up my face, this, that, and whatever and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Now, if I look like a guy, why the guys just didn't make me an honorary, you know, gay guy and I could have got the bag and said, fuck them bitches just like the rest of them motherfucking niggas and shit. You know why? Because a lot of gay guys just do stuff, you understand what I'm saying, to get the bag and they really got a whole heterosexual family or they got somebody that, you know, that's a girl that don't mind, you know, digging in that ass or whatever and stuff. I had a friend back in the day, I thought he, you know, he liked that, you know, insertion or whatever. And I thought if I said, hey, let me, you know, do you because he wanted to do me. And I was in, in my vagina and I thought if I said, well, let me do you in your anus, he would say no. You understand what I'm saying? But he liked it. You understand what I'm saying? And it kind of surprised me and stuff. But I did it just to see one time, you know, with him as far as me inserting him in his anus because he ain't never and I ain't never and it would never for real. You understand what I'm saying? I thought he would say no, but I wanted to see for real if these niggas was selling their ass to get my spot. You know, sometimes you got to see for yourself. And sure enough, he let me do it. And, you know, I gave him some vagina for it or whatever and stuff. And, you know, nigga had to get something out the deal, but I made sure I put a condom on. You understand what I'm saying? For real, because these niggas, you know, they would give these girls all kind of diseases, go get cured, and your ass just out there. And that's why in 2016, they held me down at the Cook County Jail and um, the day after Mother's Day because a lot of them really don't like girls and stuff, especially they don't like losing to girls or feeling as though, you know, man, I fucked. You know how motherfuckers realize they done fucked up and shit and you won? See, I won. I keep winning, but I'm not getting anything. So what do they do? They rape you anyway for your bank account like they raped me as a little girl and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? They hate losing, you know. This hat right here, you know, is an original idea. I'm very, very crafty and clever when I come up with stuff. And like I said, this hat is an original idea. But because Tupac made it popular and people believe what they see, and it's been so long ago, they like, no, he was wearing that back then. No, he stole it from me, the idea. You know, just like me putting, you know, paid on you know, this little sticker stuff. You know, remember Nelly put a band-aid on his, you know, that was his idea. You understand what I'm saying? So everybody get paid for their ideas, but I don't. I'm the originator of a drop top Cadillac truck. I seen it on YouTube. So I said drop top T top Cadillac truck. But you know, I don't see it on the streets. You know, if it was about the money, I told people I get them two thousand dollars. You know, if they knock on this door before five o'clock and give me my book, Rhymes, Poems, and Metaphors, plus one song. Nobody fucking knocked on the damn door because it's not about the money. You know why they already got the bag? They want to kill me for my legacy. They want to take your children, turn them into goddamn little rapists and to cut off their penis and stuff. It was because of me that y'all got y'all penis and stuff. Real fucking talk. All y'all had to do was stand up and grab your balls and shit. You understand what I'm saying? All that gay acting. For real, for real. A real motherfucker gonna find out if y'all gay or not, for real. Because I was gay for real, nigga. Real motherfucking talking. You girls that threw me under the bus, for real, for a guy or some dick or some ass, or whatever the fuck, y'all gonna pay for fucking me around. I'm gonna make this shit so hard, you gonna wish I was never born. Peace.